Hey guys, welcome to Heartspeak Warriors Forum. I'm Jennifer Chappelle. At this channel, I'm hoping that you'll find motivation, inspiration, and practical information for your daily routine. So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about your tribe. Most of us don't think about our families as being our tribe. I know that sounds kind of weird, but <clears throat> we love our families, don't get me wrong. We absolutely love them, but we don't necessarily think of them as our tribe. The more you grow up, the more you get away from home, the more you uh, start adulting, you like my air quotes, adulting, <laughs> um, is the more you realize that your tribe is what you build after you leave home. So before we get into it and before we start diving down into what that really looks like, let's go ahead and hear from my honey over at Plant Based Homestead Pepper. Hey everybody, welcome to Heart Speak Warrior Farm. I have Jennifer right here with me. Isn't it amazing how she's doing a video? But she's right here with me. So what I want you guys to do, come check out Plant Based Homestead Prepper when you finish. Keep watching Heart Speak Warrior Farm. But subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. To both channels. All right, all right. So we're going to talk about tribes, but we're also going to talk about leadership or being a leader within your tribe so before we get going got my handy notebook handy dandy notebook because i'm gonna read to you the actual definition of a tribe so that we're all kind of in the same place but we're going to talk about the traditional definition and then we're also going to talk about kind of the social urban of course you hear the tribe of five in the back they got their tribe so we're talking about them all right so it's the social division of traditional society consisting of families or and communities likely social economic religious or blood with common culture and dialect typically they have a recognized leader so in what we're going to discuss we're going to be talking about um uh, that so we're going to use our discussion based off of what will be the traditional definition of a tribe but you know how people now it's in pop culture people talk about their tribe being separate from their blood ties being separate from their family of origin being more made up of their family of creation of procreation as well as their friends that have become like family i don't know about many of you but my grandmother once told me she said if you actually have the this many friends you are very blessed she told me one time that she had to count on one hand how many friends she actually had and as i get older i understand that better because i probably have in my whole life i have a very good association with a lot of people i have very good connections with people and familial um bonds with people ties to people i love being with certain people but when it comes down to the people that i know i can kind of bear my soul to to the people that i know are going to be there for me no matter what that are going to love me no matter what i probably can count them on one hand in my case i might actually be blessed if i really dig around and think to myself especially with some of the newer um bonds that i've formed over the last year or so I would definitely consider them to be part of my tribe, so I might actually count on both hands. But believe me when I tell you that is very rare and you have to be willing to connect with people in places where you are vulnerable and connect on some of the things that are not necessarily your pop culture or music. But we're gonna we're gonna talk about that a little bit along along the way because I also wanna bring in um, something that Tyler Perry said in one of his plays when he talks about the different types of people that come through your life. So let's just start with simplifying the definition of tribe by saying that your tribe is going to be uh, a group of people with similar values and similar interests. So let's talk about values. That's extremely important when you're talking about people that you're going to have within your circle of influence that are going to be part of your tribe, that are going to be the people that you trust with your life, that are going to be the people that you trust to be there for you and the ones that you know will never step away from you. So when you're talking about interest, don't put your common interest on pop culture, on music, on movies. Those things are nice to have because they're great for conversation. 
they're great for hanging out it's always nice when you can netflix and chill with someone that's great but by the same token when you're talking about the bonds and the foundations that your tribe is built on you want to make sure that it's built on something a little more solid something like your moral values something like your perceptions of how you see certain situations um maybe your ambitions like the goals that you guys have in life so that you can push each other and balance each other out and that they can actually give you direction um, and push you towards the things that you have um, in mind for yourself as far as your future is concerned. You don't want to be friends with someone who's constantly pulling you down. You don't necessarily want to, I don't want to say friends, you don't want to have someone in your tribe that is pulling you down instead of pushing you forward. So, um, let's see, maybe... I'm trying to think of a couple other things. I'm sorry I keep looking away, but I, I, I wanted to I wanted to try to think of a couple other things that you might want to consider basing your tribe on versus some of the things that we base our friendships on or that our friendships start with. So definitely your morals, your values, your um, just your your centeredness, like what you consider to be some of the most essential parts of life, the most important parts of life. Um, definitely your ambitions your goals your dreams you want those things to be the things that you have in common because they're things that don't change i love horror movies that's actually part of who i am and it's pro never going to change but the type of movie that i watch the type of horror movie i watch might change or i love milkshakes always have and ice cream always have but who knows, in a couple of years, I might be lactose intolerant and I don't wanna to go to the ice cream shop with you anymore. So you wanna base your tribal connections off of something that's a little more solid, a little more consistent, something that's not going to change um, than just who your favorite artist is this week. So be careful in your choices. Now, when we talk about the choices for our tribes, this is one I wanted to talk to you about. Um, uh, what Tyler Perry said about friendships but to me this is a, a big deal for people when they're choosing their tribe and when they're thinking about who they have around them that's going to keep them uplifted and keep pushing them forward in their life towards the goals and towards and, and keeping them in the vein of their ambitions so we want to say that when you talk about people you have to think about people as a tree so you have some people in your life that are seasonal people. They're not there forever. They're just there for a season. They're there for a, a set amount of time and then they're gone. And those people are the leaves on the trees. The wind blows, they're over here. The wind blows, they're over there. The seasons change, they die, they wither, they go away. And brand new leaves replace them in the next season. So don't mistake those people in your life for people that you can depend on because those are your fair weather friends. Those are the people that are not going to be there when you need them and you definitely can't lean on them because their season may end just when you need them the next type of people are the branches on the trees those people are a little more dependable than those leaves they're a little more sturdy but you have to be very careful with them as well because the minute you put more pressure on that branch than what that branch is designed to or not i guess um grown up enough to handle that it'll break and you'll be left out there in the middle of nowhere thinking that you could have depended on that person and now that person has broken they've done everything that they can do they've hit their limits and now they're gone as well you are the tree and so those are the people that are around you you got a million different friends you got a million followers on instagram you got a thousand youtube subscribers you've got you know fifty thousand facebook friends and that's great and those are your leaves and you have maybe a hundred people out of each one of those out of each one of those social media outlets that are your branches but if you have in your whole entire life four or five roots really good roots that run deep at the bottom of that tree that no one can ever see no one ever has to know that they're there who they are or what they do for you or what type of support they're giving to that tree but that tree gets every single thing that it needs based on that guys give me one second i'll be right back all right cool so the other side of it is you want to make sure that um when you're talking about you as 
part of your tribe. You have to decide what your role in your tribe is going to be. Are you going to be a leader? Are you going to be a follower? Are you going to be part of the um, executive management? You know, what are, what are you going to do as part of your tribe? You're building it. Is it yours or is it? are you sharing it? Neither one of the answers are wrong. It's just a matter of how you're going to operate within that group, what the expectations you have of the group and what are the expectations you have of yourself. Are you taking charge of your group and you're being the center of influence for your tribe or are you allowing other people to come in to that tribe that you vetted through the process we were just talking about that you have chosen based off of those items that we were talking about when you that don't change very often or and, and, and you're allowing them to come in and bring their influence and allowing the group to become something that you all mold as a group versus what you dictate as being the temperature, the attitude, the direction, and the desires of what you want that group to look like. So you have to make that choice too. And believe me, neither one of them are wrong. Some of us are leaders. Some of us are followers. Some of us are background people where we don't either, we neither lead nor follow. We simply sit back and allow other people to determine what is good enough for everyone because it's good enough for them. And then we either follow along politely or silently rebel. I want to leave you with this because like I said, I don't want, I don't like keeping you guys long, but I want to leave you with this. Whatever circle of influence you've chosen and whether or not you are surrounded by a million friends, a hundred family members or a hundred branches and five roots, I want you to make sure that if nothing else, you as the tree get every single thing that you need from your tribe and that the chosen tribe that you have around you, you do me one favor. Keep in mind that although it is your chosen family based off of those common morals, those common goals, those common perceptions of the world, I want you to know and I want you to make sure that you understand that there is nothing permanent in this life when you're dealing with other people, okay? Last video, oh my God, that was like the stutter of the lifetime. Wow, <laughs> I don't even stutter. Last video, I had you guys taking a lot of notes for quotes. And here's one for you to take a note on. There's nothing permanent when you're dealing with other people. I tell my husband all the time, I expect people to do what is best for them and what is in their best interest. And I am never, ever disappointed. Not because they have betrayed me in some way and not because I'm angry with them in some way and not because I'm expecting them to be bad people and waiting for the other shoe to drop. It is none of those things. What it is, is I know that people, when they're up against the wall and they're facing tough choices, will always, always choose themselves. So even within your tribe, give people room to do what's best for them. If you do that, you will never be disappointed with your tribe, you'll never be disappointed with your choices, and your tribe will have room to be flexible, forgiving, and also grow so that you don't have to lose people as you grow up. Sometimes the people that are around you can't go with you to that next level. Sometimes they can if you help them grow. So be sure that you nurture your tribe, once you've formed it and that you're mindful of all the needs of everyone in the group, not just yours. This is the new family that you form when you leave home. These are the people that you want to take with you everywhere you go to be your support system, to be your sisters, your brothers, and in some cases, adopted fathers and mothers. These are your tribe people. This is the group of people that you've surrounded yourself with that make you feel like you are not alone in the entire universe. So, I love you guys. I think that every person that has a subscription to Heartspeed Warriors Forum is part of my tribe. We all have common goals and common interests. 
We're all here to love on each other, be motivated and inspire one another knowing that we're not alone here and that the bad things that happen, we can get over them. So next week I'm dropping a video that gives you a little bit of my backstory. I know that I've been promising it to you and promising it to you, but it's a little bit sensitive. It's a little raw. So, you know, I wanted to make sure that I got a chance to get to know you guys a little first before I started dropping bits and pieces of it. It's kind of going to start in the middle because I'm actually going to start with when Roderick and I got married. And I'm going to do, you know, just a couple of things that happened in the first few years that we were together to show you that no matter what life throws at you, you do have the ability to kind of pick yourself up and move past it. So if no one else tells you today, I love you, I appreciate you, I think that you're the most amazing person that I know and there's nothing that you can't do. I know that you're unstoppable. So I will see you guys next week, but be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, leave your comments below. I do my very best to reply to each and every one of them because I enjoy reading them. And then share, share to your Facebook. Let your Facebook friends know that we're here and invite them to come to the channel and be part of our Heart Speak family. I love you guys and I will see you guys next week.